Miracle Boy Boxing, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, the one and only host and cruise, bringing you another exciting edition of boxing. Don't forget to hit and to like, subscribe to my channel. It's always going to be appreciated. Stay tuned. Miracle Boy Boxing, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, host and cruise. And guys, I am here to talk about, and quite possibly, in my opinion, I know in a lot of you guys' opinions as well, I'm here to talk about Quite frankly, the best boxer right now that's a prospect, the best prospect in boxing, in Abdullah Mason, out of Ohio, um, one of the best rising talents that I've seen in the sport, in the history of the sport, in quite some time, um, who fights in the lightweight division, um, one of the best lightweights right now. Um, prospects and if you've seen him fight you will see what I'm, you will understand what I'm talking about I mean so many prospects I've seen in boxing over the years and Abdullah Mason stands out as one of the best that I've seen one of the best young talents in the sport he's got it all man speed power um Excellent combos, sharp. He's only 20 years old and he hits like a grown man in his physical prime. When he hits you, when he's hitting his opponents, it's like a thunderstruck. He's like he's striking his opponents with thunder and frying them in the middle of the ring. I mean, 20 years old, before the bell rings, he's a nice kid. Very humble, seems to be raised well by a humble family, hardworking. But when that bell rings, where's that nice kid? Where's that humble kid? That kid turns into a beast. He's in there and he means business. He's hitting you to hurt you, to knock you out. And if he doesn't do a one punch, here comes the right hooks, the left uppercut, the left hand, the body shots, and everything is with mean intentions. In a blistering com in a blistering way, those combinations. He reminds me of a uh, similarity. He he's got some comparisons, in my opinion, to Sugar Ray Leonard. He reminds me of Sugar Ray Leonard back in his prime when he was a young. Young fighter in the pro ranks. It just, it just reminds me of is he's Abdullah Mason is that big of a talent and that big of a prospect, that impressive. He's something to watch. I wish he can be. Um, I know they got him active. Um, pretty much as hell. You haven't seen so much. Haven't seen so much activity in Abdullah Mason in quite some time. You don't see that in boxing. Abdullah Mason fights like every month or two. Um, he fights. He fights pretty often, and that's good because he's fun to watch. He whatever card he lands on, if you bought your ticket, you're in for a treat because Abdullah Mason never disappoints. And that's what you want to see in a fighter on the rise, a prospect on the rise. Every fight he he goes in. He performs and delivers, and that's what Abdullah Mason does. You know, he, he puts in electrifying performances um, anytime he steps into the ring. It's like a wow performance anytime he, when he's done. And um, Abdullah Mason, there's a card on September 27 in Madison Square Garden, and I'm like, they should put Abdullah Mason in because he barely took any punishment. He didn't, I don't think he got hit in his last fight. The one that got hit is his opponent. Getting blasted away with an uppercut and down he goes. And eventually, that was it in the fight. I think it was like one more knockdown and that was it. Abdullah Mason has a bright future in the sport. He's got what it takes. I know when it's time to step up, he'll be ready. You know, he's got that dog in him. He can box, he can punch, he can really... Um, he doesn't, he's not afraid to get hit, you know, means business, and at 20 years old, man, he's not to mess with, that young kid, 
you know, is in there and he fights like a fully grown man in his physical prime. Like he's 30 something years old, but 30, he's only 20 years old, man. 20 years old, you see him fight, you're in for a treat. And if you've seen him fight before, you know, I ain't got to sell it to you. Abdullah Mason is the goods. He's for real. He hasn't fought no one, but I know when the time comes, man, he's ready. He'll be ready. You know, those, those punches, those punches that he throw, man, are mean and have knockout intentions. And he can box. And he's very explosive. He's very explosive. You know, everything he throws to the body, to the head, uppercuts, is like, he's really in there to hurt you. No nonsense. Abdullah Mason, 15 and 0, 13 KOs. Oh, yeah. Uh, tremendous lightweight prospect. Um, he's ready for any top 15 lightweight. Honestly. Top 20, top 15. And even top 10, like a Keyshawn Davis. Or, or like a Duke. Duke Reagan. I think that's his name. Or Duke Kragan or Reagan. One of his... One of those fighters. One, I think that's his name. Look what he did to Popeye Lebron, who's a veteran out of Puerto Rico. Abdullah Mason destroyed him. Busted up his nose and all that good stuff. Destroyed him in two rounds or three. Abdullah Mason is nothing to play with. Like I said, he's one of the best prospects I've seen in quite some time. I think he's the best prospect right now in boxing. People say, you know, it's, it's very, it's a, it's a very arguable debate there. You got, you got Kermit Moten, who's tremendous. Um, you got other fighters like Tiger Johnson, um, on the rise as well. Emiliano Vargas, who's a tremendous talent. But Abdullah Mason, out of all those prospects, Abdullah Mason impresses me the most. So yeah, I just want to come on here and talk to you guys about Abdullah Mason. I said that I'm going to make a video of him, for him, about him. I, th I feel he deserves it. He's that good of a prospect, fun to watch, hell of a talent. He's a future world champion, guys. Mark my words, we're in 2024. And I know you guys are going to look back into this video. And you're going to be like, oh, since he said it. He said it, that Abdullah Mason is going to be world champion. Look at that, he is so... Whatever it's a year, two years from now, three years from now, Mason's gonna be world champion. He's got it. He's got it. You can tell, you can tell, you can tell when you see talent, man. A blind man can see that Abdullah Mason's gonna be world champion. And that's all I got to say about that. America Boy Boxing, guys. Let me know what you guys think about Abdullah Mason in the comments section. Do you, do you agree with everything I just said, or Abdullah Mason is all hype? I don't think so, man. Abdullah Mason is the goods. He's got a bright future in boxing. Miracle with Boxing, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, guys. It is always a pleasure to talk to you guys about boxing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.